I have had my L8 Star R11 Smart Fitness Bracelet for a few days. I'd like to go over the operation, both the bracelet and the application. So let's go ahead and start with the bracelet. The first window of the bracelet shows the time, date, and percent battery, and if Bluetooth is connected. Next window shows the number of steps for today, the calories I burn, and the miles I've gone. This is the health indicator, and I'll talk about that later. This is my pulse and my blood pressure, body temperature in Celsius. Send messages to the at to the uh, bracelet. Set up Bluetooth. This is my uh, revision. If I hold my revision button down, I can actually power off the bracelet. The last thing I want to talk about in the bracelet, every hour it takes uh, the readings from your bracelet and puts it into the app. But if I want it anytime sooner, I can hold down the button for one second and it will take a new reading of the pulse in this case. So in just a few minutes, it'll give me a new pulse reading. And next, we're going to talk about the application. There it is, the new reading. So if I go to my application, it has my uh, st steps. And um, here's a detail of my steps. If I click in that, it shows me my steps for the day. And I also can check the steps for the week. or the month. The next thing we have is the sleep and once again it shows my current sleep for last night and I can go to week or month. The last thing is my heart rate and it's currently 77. Also shows averages and things like the highest if I stick my finger over here, it actually shows me each each setting. My last one was 77. Or I can show yesterday if I click this button there. Or I can show a calendar and it'll give me what days I have things set up. The next thing is my health indicator. And I have my heart rate here. And it shows me the last few times I ran I measured my heart. Also, I can go from yesterday to yesterday or show a month. And this is the blood pressure, and it has several readings. I can show yesterday and I can show for a month. The last thing is my analysis, and you can see that EGG shows no abnormalities for the last five measurements. So to take a new measurement, what you want to do is click measurement, read the instructions, say confirm, then you hit start measurement. And what you have to do on your bracelet is hold down the button and it will actually keep reading your heart rate and your blood pressure. And just keep holding it down for several seconds and we'll give you a new measurement. I got about 14 more seconds to go. Overall, this uh, app and this bracelet has worked out good for me. Uh, the last thing we're gonna go over is our settings. And, um, okay, so what I have is on my app, it shows the measurement. My heart rate's a little high, probably because uh, it wasn't totally touching my skin correctly. Blood pressure. And it says actually my heart rate was too fast. It probably wasn't the brace that wasn't hooked, wasn't touching my skin very well. So I hit confirm. And there's the graph of it. And then if I go into the analysis, it shows me my last reading, which is going to indicate that it's a little high. Okay. So the last thing I want to show you is the, you can send, set up 
sending messages to friends. And the last thing is the settings. The most important thing in here is that the bracelet is connected to Bluetooth. And I'll let you go through the settings using your manual. And that concludes my video. So I want to thank you for watching. And uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks again. Bye-bye.